Hello class, welcome to my channel Chori Math. Now I have a question that I want us to solve it together. Now having this question, now I can have it as x squared minus x raised to the power 3, then minus 36 is equal to 0. This is the first step. Now, but when you look at this question, you find out that, okay, it's not as simple as it appears. But let me give you a quick trick. Now, this is x raised to the power 2 minus x raised to the power 3. Why not let me have a way of having minus into, now watch, this 36, I will make it 9 times or 9 plus instead, 9 plus 27 is equal to 0. I have not changed anything. I have not done anything to the question. I just manipulated. Oh, I just brought a particular trick to help me out. Now, do you know I can have it as x squared minus x cubed, then minus 9 minus 27 is equal to 0? Now, this is x squared minus x cubed minus 3 squared minus 3 cubed is equal to 0. So, I can have it as x squared minus 3 squared. Can you see what I'm doing? Then, hmm. I have it this way, then I have minus, okay, into x cube plus 3 cube, wow, is equal to 0. Good. No issue. Not change anything, I just use a simple trick, okay? Now, picking x squared minus 3x squared. I can have it using the knowledge of difference of two squares as x plus 3 into x minus 3. Okay? That is one aspect. Now, having x cubed plus 3x cubed. Okay. How am I going to work with this? Now, let me show you something. Do you know that we have an identity that when we have a cube plus b cube is going to be equal to a plus b into a squared minus uh, a b then plus b squared yes we can have this therefore i can have my x cube plus three cube to be equals to x plus three into now i'm gonna have x cube sorry not cube now x squared minus i have my this is gonna be 3x then plus 3 squared all right so from this i'm going to substitute them so that i can have um x plus 3 into x minus 3 then minus into x plus 3 cover the bracket into we have x squared minus 3x then plus 9 close the bracket now everything here will be equal to 0 don't forget everything is equal to 0 now i can factorize further because i have x plus 3 and i have x plus 3 here so that i'm going to have x plus 3 okay into a big bracket of x minus 3 uh, then minus into x squared minus 3x plus 9 okay everything is equal to 0 see everything is taking shape and everything is well going fine so this x plus 3 now into we have x minus 3 minus x squared then plus 3x then minus 9 okay everything is equal to 0 so this is x plus 3 into, we are going to have um, minus x squared. Then I have um, plus 4x. Then I have minus 12 is equal to 0. Now, having this, it means that I can have x plus 3 is equal to 0. 
which implies that x is equals to minus 3. This is a real solution of it. Okay, real solution. Then let's go over to the other side, which we can say minus x squared plus 4x minus 12 is equals to 0. Can we actually work out this? Now, when I multiply through by x, because we're actually looking for the root, all right, we are going to have x, sorry, by negative, because we are looking for the root. We are going to have something like this. And checking this, hmm, I can't have, it's, it is not factorizable. So what I'm going to do is to go back using my quadratic formula, x, uh, is equals to minus b plus minus root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And the equation I'm going to solve is x squared minus 4x plus 2 is equals to 0. And the standard equation of uh, a standard quadratic equation or format of a quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c is equals to 0. So normally A is equals to 1 by comparing terms or coefficients. And B is equals to minus 4 and C is equals to 2. Is it 2 or 12? 12. Okay, let me change it so it's going to be 12. So putting it here, we are going to have X is equals to minus into minus 4 plus minus root of minus 4 all squared. Then minus 4 into 1 then into 12 okay now everything here is all over 2 into 1 okay we are moving so x is now going to be 4 plus minus this is square root of um this is 16 then i have minus 48 i guess all over 2 now going further i'm going to have x is equals to 4 plus minus root of minus 32 all over 2 and that shows that it is a complex uh, solution now this is 4 plus minus um i can have a uh, root of 32 okay times root of minus 1 then this is all over 2 all right this is 4 plus minus I can write root of 32 in a sort form, in the simplest form, basic form of sort, so that I'm going to have um, 4 root 2, okay? But root of a negative 1 is i in the complex plane. So I'm going to have i here all over 2. So my x will now be equals to... Um, I can factorize just 2 out so that I can cancel the 2 at the denominator. This is 2 plus minus uh, 2 root 2i. Okay. All over 2. So this cancels out. So we have our x to be equal to 2 plus minus 2 root 2i. Now in this case, we can say that x is either 2 plus 2 root 2 i or x is equals to 2 minus 2 root 2 i now if you check we have a value of x initially which is minus 3 which is the real root so in summary x1 is equals to uh, minus 3 then x2 will be 2 plus 2 root of 2 i then x3 will be 2 minus 2 root of 2i. Now these two are imaginary while this is a real okay solution. So we have two sets of solutions. We have the imaginary and the real. Alright. So thank you so much for watching. I believe you enjoyed the video. I believe you looked at the solution and you enjoyed the steps. So if you do please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and like my video and make your comment. Thank you so much for being here.